Hasta. Hello. So, in my shed, because I'm gonna, well, try something. I'm pretty sure it's not gonna work, but the fun thing is sometimes it's nice to do something you think is not gonna work because sometimes it does. I'm not talking about the lottery. I mean, I know that's not true. Uh, yeah, how I got this. Okay, so, hello pigeon, what I'm gonna try is a suggestion, which I think is not, a, is not possible, but you never know until you try, of course, so what I'm gonna do is uh, plot something. So I got a cutting mat here, it has some uh, glue on it, spray glue, so I have to get rid of it actually. Not looking forward to that one. I use some, uh, well, nata again, or whatever it's called in English, I don't know. So if, if this is something else than nata, then just translate all the nata I'm saying to something else. So I'm gonna pour a lot of it on it and hope I can clean it. Oh, that might be a little bit too much actually. But there's some crap, crap here. Shit stains I wanna say, but I'm pretty sure it's not shit. Not sure what it is. It is dark. No, it's definitely not shit. That's a lot of glue. If this would work, that would be fucking awesome, but... I'm pretty sure it's not. Might need to buy a commercial plotter to do what I want to do. And even then, I think it's not possible. But I'm here to, to feel, I wanted to say, but I'm here to try. And uh, as I mentioned in the comment, Failure is always an option, which is of course not my line. Adam Savage. Almost forgot his name. Uh, anyhow, so it's kind of clean. Uh, I'm gonna spray it with some uh, nice home glue, which is typically crappy uh, spray glue that is used for pictures and such, but it's, it's um, contact adhesive, but not as good as for instance, uh, 3M30 and F. But that's okay, I'm just gonna use it to tack it down like uh, not permanent. So if you use it one-sided, it well, you can get rid of it. So that's what I'm gonna do, because I want to get the foil off. I hope I'm not spraying too much on my linear rails because spray and and stuff that should be able to move as smoothly as possible is, might not be a good idea so this might not be the best place to spray so I'm gonna use the the aluminum um, with paper backing and 
A nice thing about paper backing is that it cuts more easily. Uh, that's kind of weird, but it does, uh, without ripping, or at least less ripping. And I never tried this with this foil, but I've noticed this with other contraptions. So I'm gonna lay it down like this. And actually I might need, well, it's too late. Too late. A roller, I want to say, to get it evenly. Tack down without too much bubbles, but my hand apparently works as well. So we got a nice aluminum thingy. Let's get this one in. Now we're gonna attach the plotter, which I made. It's not as, as precise as a, a good plotter. Still, it works, kind of. I think I ran out of blade, so I have to use the blade that's in there. I'm not sure if it's sharp enough. There's a weight on it, I'm not sure if it's needed, but we'll leave it. Well, I'm not sure how much weight it is, but... Okay. I set the depth of cut to 2 millimeters, so... Not sure what I uh, set the retract height to actually. There we go. Here goes nothing, really nothing. Let me lower you, and I'm bleeding because I, I uh, scratched myself on the metal I cut last uh, last time. Kind of wicked color, blood. Really dark or deep red. Uh, so, let's go. We start off slow because I don't want to fuck it up too much. Ah, actually, nah, okay, I'm not gonna change it. So far, so good, but. Might be too fast, I don't know. Why do I always bleed like it? Really? with just regular foil it would tear straight away. So far I'm like past halfway. This is 0.5 meter with a blade. So 0.5 mm trace and 0.5 mm spacing. I cannot believe this works. 
but I'm pretty sure uh, a little bit bigger space will definitely work. If this almost works, then that could be an option. Solid ground Moving skies We fly 8,000 miles Golden flies Will try their best Yeah, there we go Straight on the end, of course, of course. Almost done, and then it fucks up. What a bitch. Okay, except for the fuck up, it actually did it. You can see it ripped here, but the rest, it 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 didn't. And this is really close. I'll show you a comparison. My dirty finger. Jesus Christ, this is amazing. That this. Ah, well, sorry, that was the wrong one. So it is fucked, that's for sure. But, uh, yeah. Okay. Here is the stuff in between. So if I would adjust this a little bit, especially um, where the magnets sit, because they're fucked up and it's quite, I think it's clearly why, because in the middle there is like this one piece of aluminum foil that is not continuous. So it goes here and then it moves back and then this piece in the middle is free to move and with the drag of the knife it pulls it with it and then it rips. So if I could make this a little bit bigger, which is also better, uh, because I can I never uh, like actually position this perfectly. So because uh, if this, if this coil on on this side here would go a little bit over the middle of the magnet, then the magnetic field changes which uh, well creates a lot of distortion so actually I need a little bit more space in between these coils uh, and at the same time if there is a, a bigger piece of aluminum there uh, it has more adhesion to the to this this stuff underneath uh, so it wouldn't rip as fast so I have to redesign my coil to to be able to use this and 0 0.5 I think is asking for trouble I think 
I mean, it's nice. It, it apparently it is able to do that, and it fucked up at the place where I suggested or thought it would fuck up. But if I make it a little bit bigger, just to be sure, I think it might be able. So there, zero point seven millimeter trace width and 0.5 in between I believe although it looks the same uh, since I have to create room I, I either ditch a trace uh, which might be giving me a little bit more room in between the traces and as well in between the coils I'm not sure yet at a cost of uh, well impedance but I don't know how people get 60 ohms impedance it's, n it's never gonna happen for me so that's the question by the way what is a typical well it is uh, around that range I believe or 30 ohms I, I cannot even reach 30 ohms but what would be okay for a impedance of a planar magnetic headphone I can of course look at the as what is it the uh, hi-fi man and the other brands see what they got but I don't have thinner foil in this so I have to do it with this so what will be okay depending on your headphone amplifier of course hmm well uh, I wanted to say indeed uh, what is nice about this I can space out these coils on the CNC which is nice yeah you're following me so far I could do the same with the, uh, the the stuff that holds the magnets and what I can do actually is if I have a few coils let's say four I'll attach mylar or not even no I will leave them like this then I'll uh, attach mylar to uh, four of these frames that are still hold together so they have a equal distance and they, uh, I mylar them, and then I attach it to this. So I can do four panels in one go. Just an idea, might not work at all, but uh, since the, the same machine is milling them or cutting them, uh, well, if I use the same distances, uh, they line up. But this is wicked. Next question is, could I get it uh, off? That's uh, another story, I think. I think I would spray it in double sided this time or use uh, 30 and F if I use 30 and F to adhesive uh, to as a adhesive then I had to put it on here uh, would be nice if I can spray it actually I'm not sure if I'm able to it should be able to be sprayed before I remove the excess aluminum so when I drop the foil on it with uh, which also has 3M 30 NF on it or without the NF and then it would like be a contact adhesive and stick to it uh, and there wouldn't be 30 NF on this ma uh, mat so it doesn't stick to this as much I could even if it does stick add like a chalk to this clean this and then add the adhesive, just an idea. I'm not sure if that works, but I use it in the AMTs often. Well, big surprise, not perfect, but far, far, far better than I thought it would go. So uh, yeah, just a small one because it's nine o'clock, didn't eat yet. I might try this again in half an hour or so, but uh, this is it for now.